Welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, February 8th with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini. We're going to start with player movement, which is always the most interesting, I think, to MLS fans. This one, big news for New York. Miroslav Klose, the German international, being linked with the Red Bulls. Yeah, and we've seen this before with big players over in Europe obviously being linked to the Red Bulls in particular. We saw it earlier this, uh, about a week ago, maybe with Nicolas Anelka from Chelsea. Now it's Miroslav Klose from Bayern Munich and the German national team. I actually think this is a much better fit than Anelka to have Klose up there. A really traditional, almost target man up top to hold on to the ball, allow Thierry Henry and, say, Joel Limpere and all the other speed guys like Dane Richards to run around him is this one actually makes a little bit more sense especially considering Klose's contract is up at the end of this year in Germany so he would be able to move on a free transfer in the summer. I'm just curious to know what Nicholas Anelka thinks of this move. I don't wish we should uh, <laughs> maybe get a hold of Anelka and see what he says. The Red Bulls aren't the only ones looking at players coming in Portland as well looking at uh, an international. Yeah so Northern Irish international Jamie Mulgrew who's been with a club called Linfield over there he was their player of the year but he seems to have been dropped uh, a little bit from the down to the bench now for the club. Mm -hmm. he, there's competition from a couple of clubs up in Scotland, Kilmarnock, one of them that's looking to sign him. Known as an enforcer in the midfield there, maybe a guy that they need to bring in just to solidify things. And, you know, obviously John Spencer has lots of connections and ties to that area in, in England, Scotland, Ireland in terms of players like that. This is maybe one of those guys that he's seen and recognized and identified that could come in and help them. Well, speaking of John Spencer, his former team, the Houston Dynamo, went to Jamaica last year, got Lavelle Palmer, it was a great pickup for them. Possibly Possibly going back this year. Uh, Jermaine Taylor, a defender who actually didn't latch on with DC United last year when he was uh, given a trial there, but Jamaican international, 26 years old, and all accounts are that this deal is done, although maybe not going to get official word on this until Wednesday or Thursday. Supposedly he's leaving either today or tomorrow to go to Houston for a medical. Well, on, off the field stuff to on the field stuff, moving to Chivas USA's victory over San Jose yesterday. Alan Gordon, all of a sudden, again, becoming a, a scorer for Chivas. And uh, it was who? Victor, Victor Estupinian getting the assist on this one. So he might not score 30 goals, but maybe he's going to assist on every single or have a role in every single goal that Chivas score this year. Plenty of MLS action today, including the LA Galaxy taking on the Portland Timbers at the Home Depot. Center. Yeah, this will be the Timbers' first chance to play against MLS competition. And of course, some of their rivals up there in the Pacific Northwest are also in action down in Arizona. Vancouver taking on Columbus and Seattle taking on Real Salt Lake. That game is at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. We'll have a live chat here on MLSsoccer.com for that one. Well, all the teams in the Pacific Northwest in action today, you can see how they got to where they are with Inside the Super Draft, a behind-the-scenes look at the draft tables. Episode 3 is out today on the site. And very cool. If you haven't caught any of this, it's really neat to see how these teams started to build their teams. Mm -hmm. Extra Time Radio yesterday, if you missed it, big show, Edson Buttle and Matt Reese. Awesome. Edson Buttle telling us what kind of car he's been driving, <laughs> some of the fun he's having, and a little bit about his hotel even. And then Matt Reese, goalkeeper for the New England Revolution, he gets in there and tells how the Revs can get back into the playoffs. He even makes a little bit of a bold prediction about how far they could go. All right, well, that's all we have for the Daily today. We'll be back tomorrow.